I was like, yeah, we can wait till the weekend. But then I thought about it. I was like, opportunities don't wait. So, so I was like, we gotta hop on this thing. Good morning, everyone. Good evening, if you're watching this later in the day. Today's a new day, so that means a new opportunity and new opportunities, I like to say, not just one opportunity, you know. So many blessings can happen in a single day, but you just have to believe. Um, today, guys, I'm gonna add a video of like how my camera is looking right now because it is so bad. Yeah, you, you just gotta see it. I'm getting ready to make my calls and stuff, and I'm trying to film, but Yo, my camera is done. Like what? Definitely need a new camera. I mean, it still films, but like, I don't know. But yeah, as you can see, my camera is looking pretty bad. So once we get this refinance done and I have money in my account, then I'm definitely going to invest in getting a new camera because I need that and it's a write-off since this is for business. Um, but yeah, today I got a lot of calls to do. Today's more so of like a follow-up day. Um, so gonna do a lot of follow-ups, gonna reach out to new leads because we wanna get deals and we need money. So a little update though in regards to a while ago I filmed about like the new construction process and everything like that of us working on an eight unit like new development project out in our area. And turns out, so that deal, the seller, I presented him with two offers, like two options to see which best would fit him. And he rejected both of them, which is fine. You know, that's the game of real estate. So with that being said, I told him, I was like, hey, if you still need anything, you know, just let me know. I'm a phone call away. You got my cell phone number, just let me know. So, you know, still gonna keep that relationship because it's all about building those solid relationships. And he actually sparked the interest in me of getting within like the new construction stuff. So I'm super appreciative of that seller. And you know, everything happens for a reason. You just gotta think positive and be like, all right, you know, on to the next. God prepared me for this moment. He had me had these conversations with these people to help me prepare and get ready for this next moment, this next door that he's about to open. So I'm super thankful, I'm super appreciative. And it just makes me push harder and harder each and every day because even though you're working and you're putting in that work, God is also working and he's working behind the scenes. So even though it seems like nothing's happening, just know that he is working behind the scenes and getting everything done. So yeah, I'm super excited for life, you know, where everything's gonna go. You just gotta be positive. You know, if things for you are going downhill, it's all about perspective, you know, think, think positive. Like you got up this morning, that's a blessing. You know, you're, you're eating, you're walking, you're healthy. That's a blessing. Just show gratitude and you're just going to have a way more better outlook on life. But that is enough of me talking. I got to get into these follow-ups and get a lot of this work done. Also, I do have my coffee. I ain't slacking. This is my second cup today. Hopefully I don't need three cups, but yeah. And I did wake up a little later. I did wake up a little later today, but that doesn't mean anything because I'm still get all this work done. But let's get into it. <laughs> Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, please record your message. Yeah, feel free to give me a call whenever you get a chance. I'll talk to you soon. Have a good one. Bye-bye. I'm gonna also send him a message because this lead, um, this is the mobile home like leads we've been dealing with. And his one tenant actually left. So now it's a vacant property. And now that the tenant's not in place, it could make for a flip, a novation, 
but we really got to see the condition. So I'm going to see if he can just send me a video or a photo or, you know, a couple photos, whatever the case may be, just so we can see it. Just because it's a little bit further from us, probably closer to an hour away. So if the photos and videos, they look good enough, then we'll run numbers and stuff. And if it looks really good with the numbers, then we'll just make the trip down and, um, you know, get under contract if it all makes sense. Yeah, I wanted to give you guys a call. I know it's been a little bit. Just wanted to see if you guys decided if, you know, you're going to buy first down in South Carolina or... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, well you take it easy. Enjoy the weather. Thanks, bye bye. Yeah, I wanted to give you a call because, you know, the Baltimore property I was talking to you about? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm running numbers on it because he gave, he gave me the address and it's so hard to say like it's really hard to tell but it looks like there's new development happening like right beside the property not too far from it so like it could be a good opportunity where like arv could possibly be upwards of like 170 or so where we can get this house for really low he was saying just got to pay the back taxes of like 26 or 30k right what kind of I don't know, that's the thing. The outside looks nice. So... We can get it for... Even if it's a horrible condition, if we can get it at 30 cash, Baltimore's a hot area, I'm sure we can wholesale it. Well, it's like street by street, because I was looking at comps and... Like, right down the street, but it was... It's pretty bad, like... It sold for 10k. That's why I was like, we really just gotta see the condition. Oh, damn, it sold for 10? Yeah. But, but the out, like the exterior doesn't look as nice as this exterior. Oh, uh, okay. I got you. And it's hard to tell, like they don't show the, um, they don't show on the assessor, like the square footage as well. So it makes it a little bit tougher. But there's a lot of cash buyers in that area because it's a lot of auctions going on. How was that other property sold, the comparable? auction they're literally a lot of the ones i've been seeing they're all sold with like auction so there was one that was sold for 60 but i looked more into it and this one is complete garbage like it's even worse than the 10k one but the reason it sold for 60 is because it's residential but it also has like you can do multi with it because uh, the zoning right What's the zoning of our property? It's just residential. So that's why I don't think we, we'd be at that 60 mark. We, I mean, we won't. But um, right. even making, what, a low 10K, <laughs> anything will do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, we but we would, we would split it with him. We'd split it with him. Right. I was like, yeah, we can wait till the weekend. But then I thought about it. I was like, opportunities don't wait. <laughs> so, so I was like, we gotta hop on this thing. All right, we go. So, <laughs> not it. <laughs> well, look, I I told you I can't drive right now. I need an oil change. Man, I can't drive. What? Well, can yeah, well, it, it's his property, basically. I don't got two seats. So what so what y'all wanna do? Y'all wanna call the y'all wanna call the, the building today? Opportunities um, don't wait, man. <laughs> yeah, you trying to go check it out today, bro? I mean yeah, I mean I'm I'm willing to check it out any time. Nah, cause it would just be a wholesale. We don't even need to go there. As long as he has ownership, we're chilling. Alright, we'll see ya. So Bye. So a lot of this video was me on the phone making calls and stuff, which has been the majority of my day. But now, you know, like I said previously in the video, opportunities do not wait for anyone. So you always got to take that leap of faith and just tackle that opportunity when it comes your way. So we got our contractor got a deal. So we're just going to go out. It's about like an hour and 30 minutes or so drive so we're gonna go out and see it today but i am going to end the video here i gotta go back to my house gotta do probates first so knock out all them probates got to upload this so gotta do all this stuff before we head out to go see this property 
and yeah we'll see how it goes but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up go subscribe if you're not subscribed and i'll catch you in the next one